Despite the rain that showered Rio Sunday night, supporters of the Workers' Party still took to the streets as the final results rolled in. Music and red flags celebrated what had not been an easy victory. The media, dominated by the elite, tried to carry out a media coup right up until the last moment. So today is a moment of commemoration, because it is the fourth term in power for the Workers' Party. And the Workers' Party, for the first time in the country, took Brazil off the world hunger map, as well as many other achievements. While some sectors lamented a highly polarized election, others consider the past few weeks have been a testament to the democratization of Brazil. She overcame everything because the power of the people is not misleading. The power of the people wins in the end. The Brazilian left insists a win here is a win everywhere. Well, it means that we cannot return to neoliberalism. That is the most important message. We cannot back to the past, not here in Brazil, nor in Latin America. We are very happy. A close race throughout, but a difference of three million votes finally decided what kind of country Brazilians wanted to wake up to Monday morning. Stephanie Kennedy, Telesur, Rio.